What is good everybody? My name is E. Welcome to my channel. Today uh, we're gonna do a little bit like a uh, educational video. So for those of you who want to save money, for those of you who want to learn a little bit, stick around. This is your irrigation clock. Basically, this is the one that's in charge of controlling your uh, watering your plants. I've seen a lot of this type in a lot of houses, but there are more advanced ones, like it's much easier to control or set up. Usually they are found inside the garage. Um, that's most of the cases, but there are some instances that they are found outside, like this. Let me show you really quick. Um, sometimes it's actually located outside the house, like this. So that's how it looks for the ones that are outside. They have those, uh, how do you say, like cover with a key. So not just anybody can access it and then mess up with your, with your controls and, you know, having a high water bill. But let me go ahead and show you the settings really quick so that you can have an idea how to set it up. You know what, come a little bit closer. So as far as this clock is concerned, it's currently on off. First thing that you need to set up is the current time and date. So you go day, put that up right there. So you will see the day. So let's just put Saturday, hour, 4.08, minute, oh, minute, 4.08. This is on the AM, so I want to make sure that it's PM, 4.08 PM. So that's the first setting to start off with, which is number one is the clock. Second is the program times, which is uh, so in Vegas, you cannot water plants on Sundays and you cannot water between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. So usually I would set it at 6 and 8 p.m. 6 a.m. So that's one program time one program program time two is 8 p.m. So you want to make sure that it's p.m. right there. So that's setting number two. Um, now, the third one is when are you gonna water? What days? So you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, you make sure that it changed to Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday. Monday is supposed to be off. So for the summer, you have to water every day. For the spring and fall, you have to water, I believe, three times. And for winter, you can only water once a week. That's um, typically the case, but refer to the back of your invoice, um, your water bill uh, that you get every month for those scheduling with your area. So you wanna make sure. And then the last thing, which is the fourth uh, uh, thing to remember when setting this up, is the watering time per station. Most typical setup would be, there's one for the front, uh, and then one, one valve for the front, and then one valve for the back. So you're talking about all of these stations might be only these two are working because there's only two valves, uh, but some of them have multiple. So it really depends on each house. And most of the time they're set for 10 minutes each, uh, each valve. That means the ones that we set up, so let me do one and two at 10, and then we can clear this off, you know, by putting it to zero. So once everything is done, you put it on auto, and then you're set. What that means is the two valves will, will run one after the other. So usually one front, one back. Every day, Monday to Saturday, on 6 a.m. and 8 p.m. So remember those um, set up, at least for this uh, one that we have just done today. 
All right, now that you guys know how to set it up automatically using those four settings, um, now I want to show you guys how to do it manually. Um, you can do it in two ways. The harder one is getting a hose, buying one of those, you know, extensions, putting it in the, um, uh, attaching it to the water spigot in, outside of the house, and then you spray away. The second one, which is a lot easier, is not needing to buy the hose, but um, using this same clock instead. So this is actually different than the first clock that I showed you. I remember I told you that there's a couple of clock designs obviously here's another one of them and I think this is much easier but pretty much the same thing they've got four settings those uh, time setting clock intervals like when do you actually set up the valves to turn on the water days and then the how long per per valve you actually turn on so uh, going back to the manual let me show you uh, how to do it Um, anyways, going back to the manual, you just go to auto and then you just press manual. And then it runs. And then if you want to turn it off, simple enough, turn it off like that. And then it goes off. And you just put it back on auto once, uh, once you're set. I almost forgot. There's actually one more way to do the uh, manual setting or turning on of the valves. So let me show you that now. All right, so that's it for today. Uh, all about these clocks, uh, irrigation setups. So hope you guys learned something today. I sure wanted to to share this one because it's a very simple thing, but it can cost you a lot of money uh, down the road if you don't know how to work it. So it's very simple and something that I believe it, renters and landlords alike should know how to set up. So. Thank you for watching. Till the next one. Bye.